I didn't fly 70 or Tango Bravo here during Oshkosh. I just flew in and then I'm going to leave again here soon. But I did have a very memorable flight in a twin beach. That's the Beach 18. Wonderful airplane. Jeff Schultz, who I know from Beach Talk, offered me a ride. And here's how that went. This is my 1956 Beechcraft E18S. It's a twin beach. It's got two radial engines. They're 985 cubic inches and they produce 450 horsepower. They're carbureted supercharged engines so they uh, lose manifold pressure as you gain altitude. Um, the airplane seats seven to eight depending on the configuration. It has uh, face-to-face -face seating and a bench that can be placed in place of two seats. It cruises about 150 knots, 160 knots, depending on how much fuel you want to burn. It's a conventional tailwheel airplane and it's a handful on the ground, but it flies beautifully once it's in the air. The tailwheel is non-steerable, so you steer with uh, differential braking, differential power. I have owned it for a year and a half. Uh, prior to that, it was originally delivered to Dallas uh, Love Field. I have pictures from the internet of it with uh, no paint at Dallas Love Field in 1956. For a good chunk of its early life, it flew corporate uh, executives around. Uh, it was owned in Oklahoma and Washington State and California. I believe the Washington State owner was a dentist and I believe he was a Navy veteran. It's actually never been a military airplane, but because it, he was a Navy veteran, I believe he put the Navy Training Command paint scheme on it in remembrance of his military history. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but that's from its history and its location when it got painted. That's what I suspect. All right, who's excited about a twin beach ride? Woohoo! I am. You got the two vertical stabilizers. That's very characteristic. Entrance to the aircraft is via the stair door, doors here in the back. And then we get into the cabin. Storage space on the right. This looks like it might be a potty seat here. It is a potty seat. And then we got one, two, three, four, five seats in the cabin. Man, I could get used to that. And the cockpit. And um, I said in it once before, the windshield looks pretty small from here, but the visibility from this plane is actually excellent, uh, both forward and, and to the side. And there are these windows up here on both the right and the left side that provide very, very good visibility out of the cockpit. I can't help but take a quick peek at our neighbor here, the Albatross. Wow, that's a beautiful airplane. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm going to give each of you a chance in the co-pilot seat. Um, all right, who, who among you is a multi-engine pilot? Just Galen. Halfway, not quite. Martin is working on his. Martin got a ride in the co-pilot seat on Saturday, so Galen's in the takeoff position. Um, <clears throat> couple of things to note. The, there's a safety chain right here on the door that hooks. Otherwise, it's a standard Beechcraft air stair door. Twist to open, twist this way to latch it. There's an emergency exit on the right side, right behind the table. You lift the cover, you push the button, you pull the lever, you shove it out. If it's an emergency, don't worry about my airplane. If it's not an emergency, don't open that door. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go do the takeoff briefing now so that everybody hears it. So we're going to taxi out. Whatever runway we get, we're going to have plenty of distance. Uh, we're going to line up and we're going to set 30 inches. Looks good, sounds good. We're going to release the brakes. Then we're going to set 36 and a half, or shy of that, just a bit. 
Whoever's in the co-pilot seat can let me know because then I can keep my eyes down the runway. Uh, Twin Beach has a castering non-steerable tailwheel. It is lockable, but it can get a handful on the runway. Um, once we get 36 power, takeoff power set, by that time the tail will be flying, so I'll call ta tail flying airspeed alive. <clears throat> we get to rotation, which is between 90 and 100 miles an hour. We'll rotate. Our decision point is the gear in transition. If the gear is in transition, we're going to continue flying and have an engine failure be a um, uh, airborne emergency. We'll uh, do the drill, mixture, props, throttles, flaps, gear, identify, verify, and feather. Feather is a button on top. There's two, one for each engine. You push it, it feathers. You hold it, it unfeathers. Um, after we take off, we reach blue line, we'll start climbing, and once we're climbing at blue line, we set take uh, climb power, which is 30 inches, 2,000 RPM. Uh, if we have an engine failure after that point, we'll increase the power to maximum continuous, which is 33 inches, 2,200 RPM. <clears throat> if that's not enough, we'll go to takeoff power, but it shouldn't be, we're not that heavy. You have an excited load of passengers here, <laughs> including me. So here's the chain, guys, and it just hooks right there. This was because people kept banging their head on that bulkhead. <laughs> Warbird ground, the red and white twin beach next to Albatross in orange six. I'm ready to start. I'm just giving a ride. <clears throat> the red and white twin beach to the to the left of the Albatross. Oh, okay. I heard Albatross. Okay, uh, let me get the marshals out there first. Start yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, so it looks like the way this works is a uh, pilot has to call the Warbird ground control, tell them he's ready, and um, startup should happen any moment. You want a checklist? There's one for I'll, you. I'll run with it if you want. Right there. <coughs> I've never, I just do it myself, but if you want to follow along, go ahead. Coming back with the yoke. <clears throat> Everybody got your seatbelt fastened? Yes, Roger. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll start the right one first. Clear my side. Turn your heads up. Flight motor glider gone. Not yet.
Sounds like they want to do is a run up here, so we're going to wait a little bit, warm up. We're going to wait a bit to warm everything up. Yeah, we're out here on the road. And then we'll do our run up right here. Anchor for home. Okay, have you got a bar slurp? Sounds like we're going to get the 2 7 departure. Can you flip that page? Oshkosh departure information, Papa, 1252 Zulu weather, wind 2605, visibility niner, sky clear, temperature 21, dew point 18, altimeter 3017, runway 27 and runway 36 left in use, BFR departure, follow the direction of the EAA flight. Coming back. He's got you. Keep going. coming left. Tip your wing and B, he doesn't want to get his tip. Did the CAP assess the scaling? Did you get a uh, uh, mark? Yellow Husky, runway 3, you're correct. 27, you're clear for takeoff. We're going to assess on the south side, runway 27. All right, got boost pumps on. We did the crew briefing. Trim tab. Reserve 76, runway 27, line of the right side of the dot. File shutoff valve is open. Bypass. Not bypass. What's the right word for that? Off, I guess. Oh, it'll shut off. Bypass off. Next row is here. Clear for takeoff. Got a 
yak on the south side of your flight? Yeah, take solo. Solo, yak, runway 27, line up away, left side of the dot. You can give him here, but not now. He's moving. Can you see the wingtip? He's good. His wingtip. No, I can't. I think so. I'm not sure. He looks good from here. Yeah, he's moving. 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 Straight out or to the right, 270 to 360 degrees, add or below 1,300 degree class Delta service. Use caution for the arriving aircraft. They'll be inbound 1,800 over top of you. Flight of six, you're clear for takeoff, runway 27. Flight, we need to roll now if you can. I tried it one time, it's like pretty really comfortable. Cool. It's comfortable. <laughs> what is that guy doing? Which guy? This guy turned it final. That, that is a hell of a final if he claims that's a final. Holy crap, get yourself back to center line. Stay coordinated, don't go and don't, get, don't spin in, yeah. On top of me. He's gonna make it, but that was a bit un uncoordinated. Before you clear for takeoff. Everybody got your seatbelts fastened? I got a blue Burn point it. something other than the south side runway. T7 line avoid left side of the dot. Alpha Takes two hands. My set's on the south side crossing. Cross that runway, follow the pink shirt, head towards those cones. And uh, three four tango clear for takeoff. Did he give you the whole thing? Did he give you the whole runway? I don't know. I hope. Right Don't side. need it, but I hope. Yeah. Yeah. I like the well, center not line. left or right, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and Fox, Quebec Papa, clear for takeoff. I'd ask for middle, please. I wouldn't let him give you a side. Or a left side. B. Number 9, Sierra Fox, right, clear for takeoff. You can goose it on a boat and go around. Oh, you're not supposed to. Bonanza 83 Echo, runway 27, line of way, be ready, straight in traffic. Gave him the whole runway. Not sure you can get two out. I think I'm gonna open back up. You can take off. But it's clear for takeoff, runway 27. God, I love the rumble of those engines. I just love the rumble of those engines. Uh, I always do timer, transponder, trim, brakes, smoke, ignition, and I'm ready to fly any airplane. Guys, and I'll keep it nice and tight. Pull right up to that uh, pink shirt. Stay right behind them. We can get a reduced runway or a reduced uh, separation requirement even on the hold shorts. We go all the way up to where he's standing. It's 125 feet. Thanks for playing, guys. Departure straight out. Heading 270 or right to 360. Had a below 1,300. Did you give him VFR? Runway 270, clear for takeoff. Got it. Read Delta Golf, runway 27. Line up and wait right side of the dot. Did he get it? I, I think he's assuming it. Try to think of whiskey, runway 27, clear for takeoff. My twin beach is at uh, runway 27, line of boy. Can I get the center line for the twin beach? Yep, that's my plan for you. Up the golf, clear for takeoff.
Tailwheel locked. The world's finest Navy. Tailwheel is locked. <laughs> Front feature clear for takeoff. Looks good, sounds good. Flip Alexa, 127, line of weight, right side of that. A little more, a little more. You got it, you got it. 35, 35. Airspin is alive. Tail is alive. <laughs> Barely. 237, cross the runway. Cross the runway, 27. Tail's coming up. You got 80. My silver aircraft on the south side, right? 27, line up, weight on the dot. Boy, we're heavy today. You got 90. You got 100. Rotate. Positive right, you're up. And then uh, turn right on 523, come down that way. You got blue line. Climb it. Yeah, for Red Bull. Here's in progress. My second test on that taxi lane, get away to the Red Bull, then you can cross and uh, behind him and stand the taxi lane on the other side there. And my T or my uh, Navion, clear for takeoff. You know what? We don't need to climb Number because two, we're, we're overtaking two, already. Right side of the dot. Turkey on the south side, runway 27, line of weight, left side of the dot. Coming up on 1300. 3020. Turkey, clear for takeoff. You know, we're off in line of weight right side of the dot. Test on the south side, line of weight left side of the dot. Is that that Aerostar or is that the Aerostango? That is somebody else to the right. Two number for golf, you're clear for takeoff. That Aerostar might be off to the left. Number seven, Charlie Bravo, runway two seven, line of weight right side of the dot. Green and white test on the left side of the dot, you're clear for takeoff. Yellow, I can't tell quite what you are. Line of weight on the left side of the dot. He just went downhill, he started accelerating. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tango, just say what you need on the frequency. Uh, they, they send us, I had a VF, VFR, they sent us down here. Can we just do VFR 1300 that direction? Yes. T-34, clear for takeoff. Man, I didn't do my 1500 very well. Seven line of weight, right side. What's that? Oh, I'm supposed to be at 1300. That's a lot, clear for takeoff. Better not have anybody up here. T-tail on the south, yeah. line of weight, left side of the dot. Remember, we have our departure straight out, T-70 or right. Clear the three, class three, Delta. Bay Air Bull, 1,000 threats will clear the Delta. East Coast River on traffic, 7 2 Whiskey, you're clear for takeoff. High wing over the gravel pit, target descent. Sorry, uh, low wing over the uh, gravel pit, target descent. So as you roll out, if you look left, you'll see my home runway. Yeah, I've been there before. In the I'm sure way. you have. Get right up here. Just in, almost straight to the left now. Almost. Head of the wing. Oh yeah, yeah. laid out. Down the Straight north. It's rolling over the orange dot. Here we go. And Premier Jet, sorry, you gotta go around. They're slow. Go around, Premier Jet. Go around, go around, go around. Thank you. You just wanna stay with me and enter the downwind, Premier Jet? Oh, I was looking too That'll close. Six <laughs> Thank I you, see it now. Yep. So out there, the five miles. Oh, oh hangers on the, on the left. left. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you can offset to the right and enter the downwind. You can actually just enter the downwind from there. Six JR, enter the downwind, thanks. Thank you. Premier Jet, keep turning your uh, base, and uh, Cessna just over the gravel pit, you're following a Premier Jet. He's just turning the crosswind in front of you. He's going to be wide, so you're going to be following him if you want to widen it out to the left just a little bit. Sure. You can turn the cabin sign off. And the Cessna on the down one, and the one more. Cessna has followed the Premier right Jet. Right there. Now. Just rock your wind for me so I know you got the Premier. Thank you very much for following the Premier. Premier Jet, you can turn your base, uh, keep your base as tight as you can. You're inside traffic on a... Uh, on about a three mile final, Premier Jet. Six jar turning on the base. Thank you. You're clear to land, Premier Jet. Roger, clear to land, six jar. The red and white low is following Premier Jet. Turn your base, turn your base, high wing, turn your base. So I, I always use gumps for landing. I've never heard B gumps. That's the sketch to the boost. B gump C is what I actually do because I get you your carburetor heat. And then I add timer transponder, uh, trim, brake, smoke ignition. Lowing Make sure ignition's all on. All the way around to the orange dot, put it down to the orange dot. As soon as you get the aircraft under control, I need you left. I don't want smoke. Premier Jet, good job. You're clear to land, and you can make your first. I just make sure mine's off. Turn off on the heart, sir. Roger, clear to land, 6 year. Thanks. You're on 30 for the climber. Let it come back. 
Put it coming. I want you to keep turning. Keep keep coming all the way to the orange dot. Put it down the orange dot. Keep it airborne to the orange dot, and then uh, as soon as you can, left off in the grass. High wing turn base. High wing on the downward. Turn your base and keep it coming around all the way to the orange dot. Also, keep it coming all the way down to the orange dot. Right. You're inside about a two mile final. Uh, the high wing is turning base. Now keep it. Coming I used all to way practice out here. And the uh, high wing over and the numbers. In the winter, I came out here and it was snow in the the lake. I was practicing like this, so I was looking left and right up here, north and south. Totally lost my horizon. Got total vertigo. I've never come out here and practice again. It just scared the crap. I mean, I just... Cessna 197, runway 2, set land. Somebody, can we switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Got that. Got any questions? Not yet. This is uh, this is pretty dang awesome. That is a heck of a view. You can do me a favor. There's that the switch there. Put it on left or right rear. So two clicks to the right. Perfect. Thanks. You ever flown before? Yeah. Got a pilot's license? Student pilot's license. Student? How old are you? Sixteen. Have you soloed? Yep. All right. What is what is he flown? 182 RG right now. Elevator trim is here. Aileron rudder is normal. Okay, feet on the pedals. This is a rudder airplane. Watch this. Look straight ahead. I'm gonna do take your feet off the pedals. I'm gonna do no rudders and watch which way the nose goes. Approach up us uh, two sixty seven. But the opposite the direction. Right. 182RG's got a um, more balance. I'm going to let you fly. If I say I have the flight controls, I'm taking them back, okay? Okay. Do you have the flight controls? Okay. Never stop us at 267. We fly the uh, RNAV Yankee. Watch your altitude. You're losing altitude. There you go. Don't pitch up too much. Oh, yeah. Find a nice spot nice on the flight. rivet. That's your level. Okay. It worked great for a uh, heads-up display. For me, it's between right about this one right here. But you're a little lower, so it's probably lower. Okay. I have it too slow. Go about 200 feet a minute. Okay. What else do you fly? Uh, my dad has a Grumman Tiger, uh -huh. and I actually flew that here. All right, go ahead and give me a right turn to west. At 3,000. All right, you want to fly? You bet. You have the flight controls. 3,000 heading west. We're going to go about another mile or two, and then I want you to head south again. Keep going a little further so we go right over the Boy Scout camp. Yeah, I'm seeing it, yeah. Looks like a bunch of scouts are there. I thought went to camp when I was in Boy Scouts like that. No? In Amarillo, Texas, it's dry and hot. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, turn right to the west. You're doing great. Your trim's gonna be off because the speed's off now. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let Martin fly. Got it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Got your seatbelt fastened? Belt is fast. Go ahead and turn the cabin sign on to the left of that dial there. One more over. This there one? you go. Yep, turn that on. 
Everybody fasten your seatbelt, please. All right. Adam, you can do one more thing for me. Certainly. Take the fuel selector gauge and put it on the right main. Right main as in front? Yes, right front. Right front. You got it. I want to make sure we stay four miles from Fond du Lac. And here is the arrival. Okay. So we fly to Fond du Lac at 2,800. Whoa, I let my altitude go. And then we, from there we call. And then we, um, they'll have us go to Warburg Island, which you can see right off the nose. And they'll sink with us in from Warburg, Warburg Island. How busy do you think the arrival is at this time? Um, the tri motor about to touch down. Runway like three six right, clear to land, Green Square. Three six right, Green Square. High wing over the highway starts to descent. At the red. Red Nose that Mustang Roger report a two mile initial. We'll do Red Nose. Policy six, two mile right base, three six right. T six Roger, only three six right, clear to land on the green dot. Clear to land, three six right, green dot, Roger. Yeah. The high wing tail dragger in the base. Turn in now, three six left, clear to land, yellow dot. Division just everybody going to 3 6 right, correct? 3 6 right, 4 Delta, or uh, Great Sears, Red Jet. Thank you very much. You can land on the uh, Red Square now if you want. Red Square, copy. Oshkosh Tower, Red White Twin Beach, Fond du Lac. Red White Twin Beach, report the island. Report the island. Twenty is our pattern speed power setting. Undercarriage not yet. Mixture up. Pop not yet. And the high wing on the runway. Put it down. Left turn into the grass for me. Left turn into the grass. Follow the flagman. Head. Low wing over the highway. Start it down. Do you want the Apollo C6 down to the red square? Hey, for Apollo C6, red square. Okay, we're going. Okay. Low wing, do you see the uh, C6 short final? Slow down low. And play low wing. Follow him, 3 6 right, green square, clear to land. That was a departure off 3 6, probably. Okay, short final 3 6 right, keep it airborne now to the red square. Was he supposed to be that high then? Up, looking good. All he can be. In and 1300 uh, until you're clear of the class Delta, but then uh, you can climb. Uh, high wind tail dragger over the highway, starts descent. Mooney, turn final, 36 right, red square, clear to land. And the Mustang in the overhead, what, which direction did you want to depart after this one? They'll call him from right over the island. He'll probably have us do a right bait for 36. Oshkosh Tower, Red White Twin Beach, Warbird Island. Twin Beach, report two mile right base, Roy 36 right. Moody, start to descend. Just like you said. That's pretty much right over the seaplane base. I'll try and get you a good view of it. Oh, nice. Have you been out there? Big no, that'll be Saturday. Oh, sure, big port. Saturday that's, afternoon I go to the seaplane. That's base. a good day to go out to the seaplane. Start our descent here. Get back Mooney, to the runway. Clear to land runway 36 right, the skinny runway at or after the red square. Big port runway 36 left, so take off. What's up, big port? Clear to go. Big port affirmative runway 36 left, so take off. Clear to go, big port. Traffic left. And it's amazing these airplanes were. Des it's amazing these airplanes were designed without computers, Ready, keep you know. It up, keep it up for me. Some guy with a... 
Just keep it coming, keep it coming. You're number two right now. You're number two, you're falling the high wing on a left base. High wing on the left base, keep it in tight for me. Keep it in tight straight to the red square. Big Ford's with you behind the uh, yellow RV. Okay, Big yeah. Ford, just continue inbound for the right base, three six right. My high wing turn and final, good job. Three six right, yeah. three six right, looks like a bonanza. Bonanza, turn and final, three six right. You're clear to land after the red square. RV, you're fond of Bonanza, 3-6 right, 3-6 right, clear to land, bye. Warbird ground, red and white, Twin Beach, off 3-6 right, looking for orange 6. Uh, is that the Twin Beach calling? Affirmative. Okay, yes, yeah, just proceed northbound, follow the marshallers, and we'll have one after you make the left turn. What's that? Orange uh, 6, so was, was that where you were parking? Uh, no, once again, which runway are you heading for? Uh, say again? Which runway are you attacking towards? I, I believe they're taking me to 27, but I'm just still on a uh, taxi now. And say your position. I'm right next to flight line operations, uh, taxiing out. Oh, are you northbound right now? 
Mike, clear that cone. Yeah, I'm the yellow. Yes, sir. Right light, light, light operation. Right. Okay, yeah, they will get you on the taxiway and you got to queue up in line. And once you get close to the runway, the controllers out there will be holding up a placard with the frequency for you to monitor. Thank you, much. Yeah, it'll be a little bit. That looks like there's a long line this morning. Yeah, Gonna have to wait a bit. Oh, is this our way in? These are going out. Oh, yes, it's our uh, way it's in. It's our way in, okay. <laughs> if you could hold the sign up for him. Yep, he saw it. Hold it higher. They can't see it. Right up at the top. I about took his head off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of departures. Man, that view alone here. <laughs> B47 is about to go to our right, uh, on our left side. You want me coming? Yep, he does.
Yeah, that was a real treat. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Jeff, thank you again for this wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Until next time, fly safe. As always, appreciate the like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.